deeds that the Lord declared unto Mary. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou in the womb, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the word became flesh. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Pray for us, the Holy Mother of God. Pour forth what we seek to O Lord, thy grace and to our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ thy Son was made known by the message of the angel, may by his passion and cross be brought us the glory of his resurrection, through the same Christ our Lord. Blessed Gregory, raised upon the throne of Peter, sought always the beauty of the Lord and lived in celebration of that love. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. Amen. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who care for your people with gentleness and rule them in love, through the intercession of Pope St. Gregory, endow, we pray, with the spirit of wisdom, those to whom you have given authority to govern, that the flourishing of a holy flock may become the eternal joy of the shepherds. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, let no one deceive himself. If anyone among you considers himself wise in this age, let him become a fool so as to become wise. For the wisdom of this world is foolishness in the eyes of God, for it is written, God catches the wise in their own ruses. And again, the Lord knows the thoughts of the wise, that they are vain. So let no one boast about human beings, for everything belongs to you, Paul or Apollos or Cephas or the world or life or death or the present or the future. All belong to you and you to Christ, and Christ to God. The word of the Lord. To the Lord belongs the earth and all that fills it. The Lord's are the earth and its fullness, the world and those who dwell in it, for he founded it upon the seas, and established it upon the rivers. Who can ascend the mountain of the Lord, or who may stand in his holy place? He whose hands are sinless, whose heart is clean, who desires not what is vain. He shall receive a blessing from the Lord, 
a reward from God his Savior. Such is the race that seeks for him, that seeks the face of the God of Jacob. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Come after me, says the Lord and I will make you fishers of men. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. While the crowd was pressing in on Jesus and listening to the word of God, he was standing by the lake of Gennesaret. He saw two boats there alongside the lake. The fishermen had disembarked and were washing their nets. Getting into one of the boats, the one belonging to Simon, he asked him to put out a short, short distance from the shore. Then he sat down and taught the crowds from the boat. After he had finished speaking, he said to Simon, Put out into the deep water and lower your nets for a catch. Simon said in reply, Master, we have worked hard all night and have caught nothing, but at your command I will lower the nets. When they had done this, they caught a great number of fish and their nets were tearing. They signaled to their partners in the other boat to come to help them. They came and filled both boats so that the boats were in danger of sinking. When Simon Peter saw this, he fell at the knees of Jesus and said, Depart from me, Lord, for I am a sinful man. For astonishment at the catch of fish they had made seized him and all those with him. And likewise, James and John, the sons of Zebedee, who were partners of Simon. Jesus said to Simon, Do not be afraid. From now on you will be catching men. When they brought their boats to the shore, they left everything and followed him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise Lord Jesus it's appropriate to hear on the memorial of St. Gregory the Great, one of only two popes who gets the title the Great after his name, although there's a movement for a third, but for right now it's just Gregory the Great and St. Leo the Great, that to hear the call of St. Peter, the first pope, to hear at the beginning of the Petri ministry, even before he knew what he was in for, right? That Peter is still in his old life, still bound to the daily work of being a fisherman and seemingly not very good at it, right? Like spending all night on, on the sea and not catching a thing is kind of the sign of either bad luck or bad work. And yet, he ends up doing the greatest thing he could have done that day, which is show a little humility. He goes forth and he, and he listens to what Christ is offering. There's, there's a, a certain thing where you kind of just assume he listened to what Jesus had to say while he was standing on his boat. Kind of maybe half listening, maybe putting away his nets while this random preacher, which is decently common, is, is standing at the edge of his boat screaming to the shore. Maybe kind of going, huh, that's interesting. But yet he shows enough humility that even when he is tired, even when he is worn out, even when he is doing what he doesn't really want to do, he goes out one more time. He sends out into the part of the lake that he really doesn't want to go to and is blessed beyond his wildest imagination. Not only with the blessing of, of an innumerable amount of fish, but the fact that he finds the Christ that he is waiting for. And he shows the even greater humility by saying, depart from me for I am a sinful man. That every Pope after that 
has to have that same mentality. That Pope St. Gregory the Great was amazing in it. A man who just wanted to be a monk. Just wanted to pray off outside the city, but yet knew enough to say, even when he was a monk, to go to the priests of Rome, the first cardinals, and say, when you elect this guy, he needs to actually be holy. He can't just be a good administrator. He can't just be a good preacher, but like kind of a decent, bad moral life or whatever else. He's, he, you need to elect a saint. And they said, well, I think we have one. And they point to him and said, you're our next pope. Right? By unanimous decree, they say, you are it. And he goes, should have kept my mouth shut. Right? And yet he takes on the ministry to cast out into the deep. And to, so far that he sends one of his brethren, actually several of his brethren, including St. Anselm of Canterbury, to be the first missionaries to England, which would then spark the missionaries to Ireland, which would then spark more missionaries than, than any other country probably has provided. Because of the providence of Gregory the Great, who knew that the gospel must be spread in every aspect of life. Because he knew that he had to show that humility to fulfill his ministry. To show that humility that bows down before Christ and says, you are the what is supreme and not me. Your ways, Lord, and not mine. Let us turn in trusting faith to our Heavenly Father with our needs and the needs of the whole world. For all Christians called to become fools for Christ because they believe in the wisdom of God, that they may be faithful to the Spirit who guides them. Let us pray to the Lord. For those who are wise in the ways of the world, that they may realize that the wisdom of this world is foolishness in the eyes of God, and obtain grace to see everything as the Lord does. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord For vocations to the priesthood and religious life, that many more generous souls may have the courage to leave everything and follow Jesus. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord For all who seem to work hard through the long night of suffering and find nothing, that in obeying Jesus they may be gladdened by a great catch of healing and grace. Let us pray to the Lord. For our beloved dead, especially Herb Steger, for whom this Mass is being offered, that they may belong to Christ as Christ belongs to God in the joys of eternal happiness. Let us pray to the Lord. Good and generous Father, we ask that you hear and answer these prayers, that they be in accord with your will, through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, so become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, so become our spiritual drink.
pray, Greg, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. For the Lord the praise and glory of his name, for our and the law of his holy church. Grant our supplication, we pray, O Lord, that the sacrifice we present in celebration of St. Gregory may be for our good, since through its offering you have loosed the offenses of all the world, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift up the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. Gregory you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Sanctus, Sanctus, Sanctus Dominus Deus Sabaoth, Plenis Uncele et Terra, Gladia Tua, Hosanna in excelsis, Benedictus, Qui venit in nomine Domini, Hosanna in excelsis. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Mysterium fidei, mortem tua, annunciamus domine, et tua resurrectionem confitemur, Domen venias. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Wilton our Bishop and all the clergy. 
Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them to the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. Agnus Dei. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy to teach the Lord, but This is the steward, faithful and prudent, whom the Lord set over his household to give them their allowance of food at the proper time.
Let us pray. Through Christ the Teacher, O Lord, instruct those who feed with Christ the living bread, that on the feast day of St. Gregory they may learn your truth and express it in works of charity, through Christ our Lord. St. Michael, the Archangel, defend us in God, be our protection against the wickedness and the sins of God. May God have you and give you humbly pray, and do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan, and all the evil spirits, who cry out of the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, 